M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So I just thought I'd do a bit of video on the uh, Yesu FT3D on the left and the Yesu FT300 on the right. We've got the, Apon, the Open Spot 3 in the image as well. And the other thing that we were using, uh, which you can't see, is uh, G7 RPG All-Star node. Uh, inside this box is a, a Bofeng, a Raspberry Pi, um, a sound card, and then it's, it, it links, it's all linked using an image to the All-Star system, which in turn I've got linked to Hubnet. So, and you can um, access this box using any FM radio. So on the FT3D, uh, on the A band, we've got it on an FM simplex frequency with the tone, and on the on the B section, both radios are on the Open Spot Three um, digital narrow, but they are cross moding into Brandmeister Talk Group Ninety One. So let's just turn it up, have a listen. So on the FT3, if you want to go to the A band, you've got your AB button here. So go to the A and we'll turn it up as I just did. Now on the, on the FT300, if you want to turn it up, there are two, two dial knobs. So A band, turn it up, B band, turn it up. The the FT300 does come with a very good fist microphone, um, and it's. It, I'll just show it here. I know it's a bit blurry. Let's see if we can focus a bit better, but it's a very good microphone. You know everything. Everything you need, you can access using this microphone, and including the WireZX system. For Pi, you know, for Pi Star, once you've got your hotspot running. You can select the top, the uh, rooms using this microphone. Now I can give this person an audio report. So right now. Right now it's Hubnet. Um, you're using a, a microphone that's uh, <coughs> not very uh, effective there. Um, no, it, it's barely, barely readable. I heard you earlier and, and turned my volume up to full. Now I'll turn so down the 300. Your, uh, clear. That's the 300 turn right down, so you're listening on the FT3D. That station is weak. Oh, it looks like he's not going to come back. So as you can see, the both radios uh, will simultaneously receive um, digital on one band and FM on the other band. If you have two digital frequencies, then they will only receive one at a time. Although you can you can receive on A and B, um, you, you can't simultaneously, but it does queue very quickly. So should we uh, try and give a call out on on um, on All Star? See if we can have a contact. Right, I'm just going to use my little Bofeng. Hopefully, you won't get any major feedback.
get it on the right Three, band. One. Right, that's the one. So, see if we can do this without getting any any, ma any major feedback. So we'll get away from those ways. M0FXB calling for a contact on Hubnet. Yeah, no reply. I think what we'll do, we'll have a look at the way the menu works on these two rate on these two radios. See how the menu works on these radios, right? So with the FT3 to get into the menu. Turn it down. So let's just look at the menus. So the FT3 is touchscreen. Move this over a bit. The FT3 is touchscreen. So I can select things on the screen. So for example, mode. I can change that. And then back to FM. You, I can uh, to save. Uh, channels into the memory you can use the FMW here I can hold it down it will do it to, to access the full menu you hold down and you get this window now everything in this window is touch screen so you can see you've got display settings TX RX memory signaling scan GM YSX config APRS SD card options and call sign so and um, I'll just let you know that the APRS and the GPS on this radio work excellent. I'm just going to go into the menu. So if we look at the FT300 on the right here, if I hold this down, let's just get it right, hold the DISP button down. No, I'm doing this wrong. If you just press the DSP, it goes into single receive. So if I'm on the A band, you've got A, B here, go to A, hold down the DISP, now there you are, single, single receive. Okay, so push the DISP, you're back into dual receive. So let's hold down the F button. Right, there you are. So now we've got both radios on the, the main setup menu. So they are very similar. Have a look at that. And the selected item goes red. By just on the FT300, you just turn the, the volume knob. And on the FT3D, you turn the... It's a bit dark, but you're turning the top volume control. See if I can angle it up a bit. You can hear now, you're getting simultaneous uh, digital and FM. So, they both, both the radios do full APRS, GPS, C4 FM. They both can be connected to the WireZX system with a cable. So, the FT300 has a, I think it's an SCU20 cable. The... FT3D has, I think it's an F, F, SC39 or 40, but they both will work exactly the same way using the WireZX system uh, via the PC, and it works really well. They both, if you ask me, have quite good speakers. The FT300 is, is louder because it's a bass speaker, and the bass unit is sort of sat behind it. Not sure if you can even see it, but because it's a bit dark. Uh, and have very long cable t for the for the mount, you know, for the head can be moved around quite easily. These heads. Okay, just trying to get it to zoom in a bit better. Uh, 
So you can see the open spot sat there, and the open spot three, it will cross mode any radio, C4 FM, uh, D Start, and DMR. So I, I highly recommend the open spot three, just very versatile thing. So let's just back out of this main menu. So, if you were going to go into wires X mode, you would hold on this radio here. You would hold down the DX button, and on this one, you would just hold down the X button to get it into PDM mode. I know that on the FT300, you hold down the two orange buttons. I haven't actually done it in the FT3D. The screen sizes are identical. They do look different, but they are identical. They both have a scope. You've seen the scope on on um, the 300. Now on the FT3, let's see if I can get the scope to come on. So I think you go FMW, and then one of these selections is scope. There it is there. Now, I find it's easier if they're both receiving on the same band. So if I put them on the same memory channel for now, like so, and then we'll hit scope. Now, it may be, I can't remember if you can get scope when you're in, uh, in digital. So go back. So get that, get on both on FM. Right, let's try scope now. No, it's not letting me do scope there. So let's go on the A band. Let's try again. No, it won't let me do scope, so I'm not sure why. I'm doing something wrong. It definitely does have scope. Have a listen for a bit. Try. Get it into single mode. And then we'll try scope now. No, I don't know why I can't get it into scope. I have done so many times. It must be something I've got turned on that's stopping it from working. But anyway, it does work, and it's very similar to the other one. So that's and all then, star. Uh, maybe a one liter, one liter, no, one meter. That's G7 so, RPG. USB cable. It was just a standard USB, you know, the, the square that's one the on no, one end and the, the flat one the on no the down. other. Uh, so little box, USB cable coming out. So anyway, in summary, I just, I think they're both excellent radios. The APRS is just really good on it. Um, I'll see if I can get it into APRS. Just got to remember the menu number. So we go into VM on the B band. Go A B. Go to VM. Let's get it onto APRS frequency. Now APRS, when it's turned on, you have like a little circle, if I remember right. Yeah, it's already lit next to the A12. So there's APRS. I'll let that run for a minute. There you go, that's APRS.
That's on my collinear that's in the loft. So, well, I'll summarise and I'll end the video, but they're both good radios. Um, very similar to use. The touchscreen on the handheld is just really nice to use. Very nice size in the hand. The, the fact that it's smaller than the FT2 isn't a problem. The FT, if anything, the FT2 is too big. The FT300, what I like about it is it's very easy to put it in the car. It's a nice small unit, easy to mount. But even here in the shack, I can move the head around so easily. The microphone, just the way that works, when you use it, when you see this microphone, you're going to love it. That microphone is just excellent. Um, having the four, the four knobs, you know, for the volume and the channel change is really good. And the, the buttons push as well for different functions. Uh, when you've got it in... GPS mode, you know, to pick up the GPS signal and APRS, it just works well. Uh, and DN and digital, it all works really well. And the speaker's nice and loud on the FT300. So I recommend these radios. I think they're very good value for money. The radios that are coming out from Icon at the moment are the, just the prices are just crazy, uh, but they know that people want them. Where Yesu have been very sensible and they've priced these. I think they've priced them very well. If anything, a bit low. Uh, I think people would pay a lot more for them. Um, so I, I say get one and enjoy it and get an open spot three. So anyway, 7-3, thanks for watching my channel. I'm going to go live here with these two radios for a while and then catch you on air. All the best.